Afternoon folks. Willie the Dog Walker Williams here again. It's uh, the 27th of February 2019 and we're down in Colbertdale by the viaduct and going into Low Mole Dingle. Now there's part of the water system that goes under the road and into the Museum of Iron. Right, here we go then. There's Charlie Dog with me again today. Yeah, here's the uh, first information board. There you go, tells you all about the history under your feet and in this area. This bridge used to be a cast iron bridge, so I believe, which takes you up to the big house there through the woods. As you can see, it's blocked off. A little grunter. And as you can see, this is part of the Telford 50 mile trail. So right. He's uh, having a good old sniff about. Nice bit of carving. Each side there's a seat. There you go. I thought there was, there's a set of steps here which takes you across that bridge so I'm, I don't know why they've blocked the bridge off Yeah look, here's some porkers Yes, Charlie, that's what you sound like when you're grunting. All right, let's go across the boardwalk. as you'll see in a minute there's a stream to the left to the left of us um, which is also part of the water system that helped power the ironworks we aren't going all the way across here today but uh, 
we will we'll go up and do a bit of a loop but if you carry on this is what sorry this is what they call low mold ingle if you carry on right to the end of here it will bring you out to another walkway called the rope walk it's a nice walk but, uh, when Major, me, my dog, my other dog, the Golden Retriever, when he used to come out with us, he used to love to get in the stream down here. But unfortunately, he can't walk the distance now. They must be going to, or going to clean it out. Because yeah, when I was down here last time, a bit further up, up here, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I saw some sandbags. See, it's only very shallow. But it does get silted up and uh, loads of branches and twigs. Oh, a bit mucky underfoot here. Like I said, made you to love to get in it. I have a good old paddle and a, a lie down in it. Ooh. Charlie's getting a bit brave. He don't normally do water. That was a short paddle, <laughs> but at least he, he went in, like I said, which is very unusual. But, oh yeah, that's where the, the uh, or what you call them, the sandbags were. So they must have done what they were doing anyway, as they've removed them. Right. Once a good the, the embankment could do with a good tidy up but I suppose it's money as usual there isn't enough money to do everything is there right let's we'll walk along a bit further and the path Bend round to the right. When we had that really good summer last year. I walked down here quite a few times and I've seen uh, some families down here paddling in in the water. Cheap day out, I suppose. Right now, let's loop round here. I will do a full video of this when I get me other camera. I'm not sure what I'm going to get yet. 
I might try one of them cheap action cameras first until I've got enough money to do to, sorry to do to get a GoPro but at the moment I'm still using my Samsung J5 phone to do this and you'll have to forgive me if the volume goes quiet because I forgot to br bring my external microphone There's a pathway to the left here and that takes you up into another walkway which brings you out onto Jigger's Bank. You go through a field and across onto Jigger's Bank. But it's not very good for walking because there's no paths in there. Well, you can walk it, but it, the traffic comes up and down it stupid mile an hour but like I said you can walk up turn left follow the follow through the field there is a bit of a path and it brings you out right at the top of these woods and you just do a loop again There we go, look, like I said, this loops back down onto that bottom path. Some blue markings on the trees. They must be going to be cut down. Oh, there. Fair old light as you can see. Another one there with an orange marking on. Right. And this brings us back onto the boardwalk. And this is sponsored, supported by Viola Environmental Trust. Well done, Viola. A very good cause in my opinion. This area looks as though it's been cleaned out a bit since the last time I was down here. Still very overgrown now as you can see. doing pathways and woodwork like this doesn't come cheap some of the houses there on uh, Derby Road and Derby Road leads up to um, sunny side 
and up to Little Wenlock. And if we go through and down Sunnyside, you come to Stret Hill, which is in itself another good walk. What a life, eh? Sleeping and eating all day long. <laughs> Very similar to mine. Yeah, let's go be steps if we can. Find out about this bridge. Yes, as you can see. It's blocked off at this end as well. Oh, I can see. I think one, I think I can see why it's closed. A bit further on down there. Need some repairs doing. Let's turn back on ourselves. Back to the steps. Charlie enjoying a good sniff. Come on mate, let's go this way. Nice big house. Oh. Hey. Look, wild garlic growing. Come on, child, please. Another information board. Tells you about low mole dingle. about the waterways and way markers and tells you about a Dalehouse Bridge which is that one there Right, let's go under the bridge again. Oh yeah, look, at the bottom. You can see daylight through it. So that could be the reason for it being shut off. Of 
coming up to the viaduct and we're going to go under. See the ducks? Let's have a look. And, uh, On the way down here through the uh, Colbickdale woods, I've been collecting some wild garlic to start of the season. Loads of it about. Another footbridge. Oh, excuse the glare off the sun. I will try my best to keep the sun out of the lens. Just point the camera down, point the phone down a bit. So, and that's a nice view of the viaduct and the Derby houses behind. And we go up the ramp, which is the way out. And it brings us back on to Derby Road. As you can see, this ramp and the scheme was partly financed by the European Regional Development Fund. Here we go, another information board explaining about the water courses. I said then folks. That's my short video of Loam Old Dingle. Um, I will come back, like I said, and I'll do a, a full length video of all the of all the walkway uh, sometime soon. Okay then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.